Monthly Advance Economic Indicators Report, May 2020. For release at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, Thursday, June 25, 2020. Statement regarding COVID-19 impact, due to recent events surrounding COVID-19, many businesses are operating on a limited capacity or have ceased operations completely. The Census Bureau has monitored response and data quality and determined estimates in this release meet publication standards. For more information on the compilation of this month's report, see COVID-19 FAQs. June 25, 2020, the U.S. Census Bureau announced the following international trade, wholesale inventories, and retail inventories advanced statistics for May 2020, May 2020. Advance International Trade, Goods Deficit. $74.3 billion, plus 5.1%. Advance Wholesale Inventories. $642.2 billion, minus 1.2%. Advance Retail Inventories, $604.5 billion, minus 6.1%. Next release, July 29, 2020. Advance International Trade in Goods. The international trade deficit was $74.3 billion in May, up $3.6 billion from $70.7 billion in April. Exports of goods for May were $90.1 billion, $5.5 billion less than April exports. Imports of goods for May were $164.4 billion, $1.9 billion less than April imports. Advance Wholesale Inventories. Wholesale inventories for May, adjusted for seasonal variations but not for price changes, were estimated at an end-of-month level of $642.2 billion, down 1.2%, plus or minus 0.2%, from April 2020, and were down 4.3%, plus or minus 0.9%, from May 2019. The March 2020 to April 2020 percentage change was revised from up 0.3% plus or minus 0.2% to up 0.2% plus or minus 0.2% asterisk. Advance Retail Inventories. Retail inventories for May, adjusted for seasonal variations but not for price changes, were estimated at an end-of-month level of $604.5 billion, down 6.1% plus or minus 0.2% from April 2020, and were down 9.5% plus or minus 0.5% from May 2019. The March 2020 to April 2020 percentage change was revised from down 3.7% plus or minus 0.2% to down 3.8% plus or minus 0.2%. The June 2020 advance report is scheduled for release on July 29, 2020. View the full schedule in the Economic Briefing Room, www.census.gov slash economic indicators slash. The full text and tables of this release can be found at www.census.gov slash econ slash indicators slash. Explanatory notes. International trade in goods. Goods census basis. Data for goods on a census basis are compiled from the documents collected by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection and reflect the movement of goods between foreign countries and the 50 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and U.S. foreign trade zones. They include government and non-government shipments of goods and exclude shipments between the United States and its territories and possessions, transactions with U.S. military, diplomatic, and consular installations abroad, U.S. goods returned to the United States by its armed forces, personal and household effects of travelers, and in-transit shipments. Data for U.S. exports to Canada are derived from import data compiled by Canada. For more information on the data exchange and substitution please refer to the FT-900. The general import's value reflects the total arrival of merchandise from foreign countries that immediately enters consumption channels, warehouses, or foreign trade zones. For imports, the value reported is the U.S. Customs and Border Protection appraised value of merchandise, generally, the price paid for merchandise for export to the United States. Import duties, freight, insurance, and other charges incurred in bringing merchandise to the United States are excluded. Exports are valued at the free alongside ship value of merchandise at the U.S. port of export, based on the transaction price including inland freight, insurance, and other charges incurred in placing the merchandise alongside the carrier at the U.S. port of exportation. 
Additional information on coverage and valuation are available in the Guide to Foreign Trade Statistics, www.census.gov slash foreign trade slash guide slash sec 2.html hash coverage and www.census.gov slash foreign trade slash guide slash sec 2.html hash valuation comma respectively. Non-sampling errors. Goods data are a complete enumeration of documents collected by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection and are not subject to sampling errors. This report presents current month statistics which reflect nearly complete coverage. Current month statistics reflecting complete coverage will be published in the upcoming U.S. International Trade in Goods and Services Report FT900. Statistics for other months shown reflect complete coverage and appear in the most recently published FT900. Quality assurance procedures are performed at every stage of collection, processing, and tabulation. However, the data are still subject to several types of non-sampling errors. Information on non-sampling errors and other quality issues are available in the Guide to Foreign Trade Statistics, www.census.gov slash foreign trade slash guide slash sec 2.html. The U.S. Census Bureau recommends that data users incorporate this information into their analyses, as non-sampling errors could impact the conclusion drawn from the results. For a detailed discussion of errors affecting the goods data, see U.S. Merchandise Trade Statistics, a quality profile, October 2014, available at www.census.gov slash foreign trade slash ape slash quality underscore profile 1003-2014.pdf or from the Economic Indicators Division, U.S. Census Bureau. Adjustments for Seasonal and Trading Day Variations. Goods data are presented on a seasonally adjusted and not seasonally adjusted basis. Seasonally adjusted and or trading day adjusted data are produced using X13ARIMA Seats software to develop monthly adjustment factors. Goods data are initially classified under the Harmonized Commodity Description and Coding System, Harmonized System, which is an internationally accepted standard for the commodity classification of traded goods. Combining trade into approximately 140 export and 140 import end-use categories makes it possible to examine goods according to their principal uses. These categories are used as the basis for computing the seasonal and trading day adjusted data. These adjusted data are then summed to the six end-use aggregates for publication. For more information, visit the Seasonal Adjustment section of the Guide to Foreign Trade here, www.census.gov slash foreign trade slash guide slash sec 2.html hash seasonal. Retail and Wholesale Inventories. National estimates of -of end-of-month inventories are based on data from the Monthly Retail Trade Survey and the Monthly Wholesale Trade Survey. Additional information for each survey can be found at www.census.gov slash retail and www.census.gov slash wholesale. The advance estimates contained in this report are not incorporated into the full MRTS and MWTS time series. The MRTS and MWTS samples selected to measure inventories consist of a stratified simple random sampling method of approximately 11,000 retail firms and 4,200 wholesale firms located in the United States. The retail and wholesale samples include firms of all sizes and are updated on a quarterly basis to account for new retail and wholesale firms, deaths, and other changes to the universe. Data for non-responding firms are imputed based on data for similar-sized firms classified in the same kind of business. For surveyed retail companies, approximately 45.4% provided data for this reporting period resulting in a total quantity response rate of 55.0%. For surveyed wholesale companies, approximately 52.3% provided data for this reporting period resulting in a total quantity response rate of 57.0%. MRTS estimates cover companies with one or more establishments that sell merchandise and related services to final consumers. Non-employers are represented in the retail estimates through benchmarking to prior annual survey estimates that include non-employer sales based on administrative records. MWTS estimates cover wholesale merchants who sell goods on their own account and include such businesses as wholesale merchants or jobbers, industrial distributors, exporters, and importers. 
sales offices and branches maintained by manufacturing, refining, or mining firms for the purpose of marketing their products are not covered. In this report, also excluded as NAICS Industry Group 4251, Wholesale Electronic Markets and Agents and Brokers. Reliability of Estimates. Because the retail and wholesale estimates are based on a sample survey, they contain sampling error and non-sampling error. Sampling error is the difference between the estimate and the result that would be obtained from a complete enumeration of the sampling frame conducted under the same survey conditions. This error occurs because only a subset of the entire sampling frame is measured in a sample survey. Standard errors and coefficients of variation are estimated measures of sampling variation. The margin of sampling error gives a range about the estimate which is a 90% confidence interval. If, for example, the percentage change estimate is plus 1.2% and its estimated standard error is 0.9%, then the margin of sampling error is plus or minus 1.753 by 0.9% or plus or minus 1.6%, and the 90% confidence interval is minus 0.4% to plus 2.8%. If the interval contains zero, then one does not have sufficient evidence to conclude at the 90% confidence level that the change is different from zero and therefore the change is not statistically significant. Estimated changes are statistically significant unless otherwise noted. For a monthly total, the estimated coefficient of variation is given. The resulting confidence interval is the estimated value plus or minus 1.753 x CVX, the estimated monthly total. Non-sampling error encompasses all other factors that contribute to the total error of a sample survey estimate. This type of error can occur because of non-response, insufficient coverage of the universe of businesses, mistakes in the recording and coding of data, and other errors of collection, response, coverage, or processing. Although non-sampling error is not measured directly, the Census Bureau employs quality control procedures throughout the process to minimize this type of error. The U.S. Census Bureau recommends that individuals using retail and wholesale estimates incorporate this information into their analyses, as sampling error and non-sampling error could affect the conclusions drawn from the estimates. Adjustments for seasonal variations. Concurrent seasonal adjustment is used to adjust the retail and wholesale inventories estimates for seasonal variations. Concurrent seasonal adjustment uses all available unadjusted estimates as input to the X13ARIMASEATS program. The factors derived from the program are applied to the retail and wholesale estimates of current and previous month inventories and for inventories estimates a year ago as well. Data Availability The Advanced Economic Indicators Report is available at www.census.gov slash econ slash indicators slash index.html. For archived versions of the Advanced Economic Indicators Report, please visit the Historical Data tab at the following, census.gov slash econ slash indicators slash historical underscore data dot html. Resources. Quarterly Services Survey. Did you know? Services make up roughly two-thirds of the personal consumption expenditures component of the U.S. Gross Domestic Product, GDP, measured by the Bureau of Economic Analysis B. Quarterly Services Survey QSS, revenue data is the largest input into what is commonly referred to as consumer spending. Learn about historical revenue trends for certain industries going back 15 years and other data, such as in patient days and discharges for hospitals, by visiting https colon slash slash www.census.gov slash services slash index.html. Table 1. U.S. International Trade in Goods by Principal End Use Category 1. In Millions of Dollars. Details may not equal totals due to seasonal adjustment and rounding. X. Not applicable. Table 2. Levels and percent changes for inventories. Inventories estimates are shown in millions of dollars. Estimates are based on data from the Monthly Wholesale Trade Survey and the Monthly Retail Trade Survey. Table 3. Estimated measures of sampling variability. Estimates are shown as percents and are based on data from the Monthly Wholesale Trade Survey and the Monthly Retail Trade Survey.